If you throw us um, like a little conceptual map of the main elements of digital storytelling, something that we well, I mean, should I, remember about it. You yeah. always say that the idea of our work starts with insight, and that insight for us is means the, 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 the process of telling a story is about what you know about yourself right now. So you could tell a story about your mom in a 15 mm -hmm. different ways, but in some ways you're telling it to tell yourself, you know, this is the new understanding I have about this person, this relationship, whatever it is. And that once you're heading in this direction, which you could say is kind of from your vision of, mm. of what the usefulness of the story is, you're immediately dropping into the emotion mm. of the story. And uh, I think a lot of digital storytelling, when we talk about learning, it's about our learning modalities have been head separated from the heart right. a lot, and there's no effective uh, connection between the way we come to understanding and the way it feels yeah. to have this knowledge. And so in the steps that we talk about is when you're thinking about this kind of story, what are you feeling as you're expressing this? Yeah. Meaning is it about loss or is it about joy? Is it yeah. about celebration? Is it about uh, recovering something that you didn't know, yeah. like discovering something that had been concealed? Uh, and once you're there, then we're really talking about s the structure. And for us, we used to call it as the dramatic arc that goes from, mm -hmm. you know, the beginning of a uh, captured uh, moment mm -hmm. that pulls you forward to a conclusion that allows insight to happen, and this is what we call the desire arc, right, yeah. where a character goes, that we're focused really more in these small stories in one moment that might then get broken into uh, two different pieces, so the beginning of a story could be just before a change happened, right. and the end is, you know, the change occurring and what you learned. Mm -hmm. And that idea of uh, using these moments of change, like the exercise I did yesterday, as ways to kind of understand what's the new learning in your life? What are the most important values that come out of that learning? The structure part of it is, is where you go from there. Most of the rest of what we talk about are about making a short film and right. the visual yeah. and the audio mm -hmm. and the assembly and how story right. changes between a text and a visual representation of right. the text. What happens when you add music? What are all, how the layers interrelate? How do you pace the story? Those are the other steps, but this part of the creative process is the same for all of our teaching. We're, we're really always asking the person the question, right. well, what does that story mean? Do you think that the um Process is more important than the product for the individuals, like for the you know, I, the absolutely. Workshop. I mean, I I think we understand products are extremely mm. temporary. I like yeah. the word signpost. It's like here I am driving through life on uh, my own little hero's journey, mm. and I'm just putting a sign down that says, you know, that's mm. where I was. Now, when right. I'm ten steps down the road and I look back, well, it's yeah. good to know that I was there, mm -hmm. but it's not the same story. Mm. Already ten steps exactly. forward, the yeah. story has changed. I wouldn't tell it the same. So you could revisit the same story mm. the rest of your life, or you could just leave signposts of different right. kinds of stories that say something about who you were when you mm. were 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, yeah. 70, you know, and all of that is, uh, I think, healthy. I think that's the great part of this work.